What's up, guys? What's up? It is another Roland Evan vlog. We're doing another road trip. Yeah, we're going to Vermont. Again. No, Again. no we're fine. We're going to regionals. So today, a couple weeks ago, we brought you guys the Festival of Champions vlog. We're back with another running vlog. Today is regionals at the same location. So we're driving down. We're going to go support the team. I also, um, some very exciting news. I was hired by Mile Split to film the meet, which I'm very happy about, very excited. Uh, it's what I've been doing for three years. So I'm very excited that now I can do it for Mile Split. So I'm going to be recording. Well, that's what they don't need to know about. <laughs> Cut. Um, let's take it from the top. It's honest filmmaking. <laughs> All right. So I'm very excited that I, like, you know, Mile Split, or I reached out to them. They, like, put a thing out, and then I reached out being like, yo, I can do it. And they're like, yeah, you should do it. So very excited about that. I'm very gr grateful, very excited to uh, film that today. I'm also going to be filming the uh, vlog for YouTube. So it's going to be, you know, a lot of recording today, but I'm excited. Got all the camera batteries charged, cleared the SD card. We're good. Goal for today, though, is for both of us to get a media pass mm -hmm. if they give them out. We're going to try. We're going to try. I really hope they give it out. That'd be, That'd be fun. All right. But yeah, we'll see you guys at Belfast. What's up guys? We are here at Regionals. Very excited. Um, they're probably walking the course. So we're probably gonna walk to the tent and there's not gonna be anything there. Ooh, it's green, like very green. The merch, merch isn't bad. Thoughts on, thoughts on the merch? It's not bad, I like the green a lot. It's very green. Last year was uh, red. Red, yeah. Oh, they're still here. Oh, they're still here. Yeah. Oh, wait. Not all of them. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. Hey, guys. Hi, hey guys. guys. Hey, guys. What's up? Where's... <laughs> How are you, buddy? Good. Want one? I don't need one. Do you want? I don't one? want to film that. <laughs> well, no, but do you want one? Like I can share. Yeah. Filming? Yeah, I'm filming for Miles Split today. Awesome. Yeah. I saw you on the tweet. Yeah. No, they hired me. I'm announcing. Awesome. I heard you're you announcing. Before. I know. I'm so That's excited. Awesome. Best announcer. Here. See? You hear that? Hello. There we go. Can I? Do you guys have media passes? Yeah. I don't know, but Dave probably has. Oh, okay. Dave has media ones over right. there. Where? Um, Wait, where are the media ones? Are they, are they ones here? Yeah, Dave has them. Dave would have the actual ones. Sam? Yeah. I'll go look at them. Black and ten. 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 You just have to tell him you're with Miles and he'll be like, all right. All right. Hey, Dave. Yeah, the media pass. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. But the good thing yeah. is yeah. that yeah. when I spent oh, time, yeah. I got all kinds of, I got race passes too. And Miles plays. Put him on the committee. Just put him on the committee. Shameless self-promotion. But my sister was on the committee. I'm with Miles too. So I'm not, but I was not just you. I don't know. There you go. So where are you going to be? Um, but anyway. I don't know. I like. I was just going to go down there. Right, and, and so what are you exactly? Okay. What are you doing? So well, filming. Yeah. Okay. And then that's going up automatically. Oh. Yeah. Well, Live. well, no. So I'm going to edit it. Okay. Um, and put it up on YouTube, uh, on my YouTube channel, as well as uh, Derek Bay, who hired me for Miles Blunt. Okay. All right. That sounds great. All right. Thank you. Oh, I'm not familiar with that. Oh, here, get it. Give me Don again. Is this is the, the fourth one. The fourth media tag. We're writing mile split in this time though. Yeah. This isn't the first official one though. The what? <laughs> first official one. They've all been official. But this is like the On a night But every other Yeah, I'm working for Evan Chase YouTube. Every other time I like sort of conned my way into getting one. But we've only got one too. Yeah. We um, gotta get a photo. This will be the thumbnail. It's just Yeah, wait, let's Evan, go. No, we gotta do it. Cooper. Welcome back 
to the Evan Cece YouTube channel. It is an honor. How have you been? Good, good. I've been running for Maine Maritime. Nice. How's it been going? Good. Yeah, I beat my 5K PR in awesome. an eight, uh, five miles. So. Oh, <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> but so everything's been going good? Good, yes. Nice. Yes. How's the team? Very good. Nice. Yeah, we're hoping to win our conference this year. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, good luck. Thank you. Coach Hackett's here. Hi, Coach Hackett. Hi, how Evan. How are you? Great, how are We've you? Missed you? I've missed you. What's up guys? We are here at Regionals. It's about, what time is it? It is currently 10.30, so the boys have about half an hour before the race starts. Roland and I each got media passes. I put mine as Mile Split because I'm working for Mile Split today. Mine's Evan Susi YouTube channel. Because he's working for me. Kinda. We got the sign on the back. We're ready to go. So, first up is boys running, boys are running first. Yeah. So first up we got Class A boys, Class A girls, then Class, I'm assuming Probably it goes class, class B, B, Class C. Um, so very excited. We're gonna bring you guys all the footage. Um, so we'll bring it to Mile Split too. Uh, what else should we talk about? We're gonna try and get interviews. Um, I don't know how many interviews we'll get before this race. Cause I don't like, I don't know people. That's not true, I know a lot of people. But I don't know like, the winners might be hard to get because I don't know what they look like. And they don't know. I, I don't. I don't have any mile split stuff, so I'm not. I'm not tricked out. So I don't know if they know um, that I need to interview them. So it'll be interesting trying to find the winners. Do mm -hmm. you have anything to add? Uh, yeah. A little assessment of conditions. Pretty temperature. Dry. Perfect course. As far as I can tell, it's completely dry. It's nice and hard. So I think the times today are gonna be lightning fast. Yeah, I agree. So yeah, I thought excited. I don't know why, but I thought it was gonna be really wet. Me too. Even I wore that, I wore my waterproof rained? shoes. Has it rained recently? <laughs> uh, a couple of days ago. Yeah, but like we got like a lot of rain like on yeah. like Tuesday or something. Uh, anyway, um, we're doing good. Nothing really else to add. Uh, we'll do another update, but if not, the uh, boys race. Buick boys in the wild. What's up, boys? Across to after Sleepy Hollow. Oh. What's up, Thomas? Hey, what's up? How you doing? Good. How are you? Yeah. You want to get an interview? Yeah. All right. Sure. So, I've heard you've been having quite a season. Yes, I have. Talk about it. Well, I, I train a lot this summer, and uh, I've I've been uh, learning to brace way better than I did last nice. year. You know. You're a senior this year, right? Yeah, senior year. So, do you have any uh, plans for college next year? Uh, college next year, I'm gonna go to SMCC or KVCC. Oh, nice. Uh, study paramedicine. Awesome. Are you gonna yeah. run? Is that, do they have running? I don't think they have running no, there, unfortunately. Dang. But right. if they did, I would, I would definitely run. Yeah. All right. And then, you know, regionals. Yeah. How did you prepare? How did you prepare for today's race? Oh boy. You know, what'd you do to get in the mindset to get ready to run? Well, the whole team's been preparing for this one race for a long time, just because this is like the fastest race of the year for most yeah. people. Um, we, you know, we been cutting down mileage a lot this week. Yeah. Um, we did like one hard workout early in the week, so all right. we're all feeling really rested up for this. All right. Week. Good luck. Hey. Thanks. See ya. See ya.
That's a good spot, buddy. Hey, good work, buddy. Stay away at all. Let's go, James. Stick with him, James. Let's go, Jackson. Let's go, Jackson. Let's go, Jackson. Let's go, Thomas! Let's go, Let's go, Let's go! Let's go, Let's go.
You got it, Thomas. You're so close.
We're here with Charlie Collins, Class A Regionals winner. Talk about the race. How are the conditions? You know, how was it out there? Weather was perfect. I think probably one of the better uh, Belfast races that has ever happened in these last four years for me. Uh, the time was solid. I'm not terribly worried about it. It's hard to run, especially those last two miles by yourself. But um, I got to give credit to everyone out there. It was, it was tough. I mean, yeah. it was good conditions and everything, but it was still tough. Did you do anything different to prepare for this meet going into regionals, knowing you were seated first? Um, uh, I was pretty confident about this race personally. Uh, over the last week or so, it's really been about just getting the team into shape and uh, getting them where we want to be. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get to run our normal fifth runner. He's having some hip issues, but uh, we had some gr a great replacement for him, and he'll be back next week. So. All right. And speaking of next week, how do you feel about running at Twinbrook? You know, that's it. You haven't run there last year necessarily because States was here. So uh, how do you feel running at a more hilly course? Yeah, I think everyone in the north is really prepared for Twin Brooks. It's, I, I've only ever run it once my freshman year, so it's been a long time. But we went down there, I think, last week or so to check out the course, and I think it's going to play to our strengths. I think all these guys on my team are incredible at hills. We race Coney a lot. That's that's probably one of the toughest courses there is, so I think we're prepared. And last question. So after Twin Brook, what are the goals for future races you know are you looking to qualify for anything specific or um yeah so new england's i want to i want to really uh put myself up there at new england's i want to put the team up there at new england's that's been a goal for us for a while um after that i think i'm running nxr in new york nice. i want to try to qualify for nxn but i don't think i'll be able to make it just because uh me and my brother are going down to running lanes in alabama i think it's yeah. on the same day so uh -huh. Yeah. Nice. And then, uh, you know, you're a senior this year, so college plans. Have you thought about that at all? Um, yes. It's you don't have a, to reveal it. Oh, no, yeah. Uh, I'm fine with it's, it. it's, it's been a topic of discussion for yeah. a long time that I've been putting on. Uh, but uh, I'm looking mostly uh, in the Northeast and specifically in Maine. I really like uh, the program that UMaine has been putting on this year. I know a lot of their runners. Uh, and it'd be amazing to be teammates with them, but I, I hope that decision's coming pretty soon. All right. Well, congratulations on your win. We'll look forward to seeing you at Twinbrook. Thank you very much. Thank you. Trevor. Yes. So you just ran Class A Regionals. Yeah. Talk about it. How did it go? How were the conditions? You know, give us the breakdown. You know, everybody said the conditions were going to be bad. It really was pretty good. Um, it was a little muddy in spots, but it wasn't bad. Um, I was pretty much went out a little smart at the start and just tried to hold position from there. Um, I think I was like 20th and I ran a 30 second PR. I was like 17, 40 something. Nice. So does that qualify you for states? I think so, yeah. So running at Twinbrook, obviously a more hilly course than this. Yeah. Haven't run it in a, quite a few years. Have you run at Twinbrook? I've never You've run never run Twinbrook. So. Well, you know, what have you heard about Twinbrook? How are you preparing for a much hillier course? You know, I think even though it's hilly, it's going to be a good race because nobody likes hills. But if you run them right, you can do really well. So I'm going to be optimistic about it. And All right. I did well at Coney. So. Yeah. And uh, how did you prepare for this meet? Anything specific? Changed up a routine at all? Or kept it just the same? Not really. Just slept a little longer. Got some better sleep. And <laughs> got up at a good time and got ready. So. All right. Sounds yep. good. Well, thank you yeah. for the interview. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate Congrats it. for that. All right, introduce yourselves to the vlog. I'm Eli. I'm Brunswick's one. And I'm Miles. I'm our two most of the time. All right. So, how did the race go for you guys today? Oh, uh, it was not that great. Yeah, it wasn't awesome. Conditions are perfect. Yeah. yeah. Really perfect, but I was slower by a little bit. Yeah. How was it? Was the course wet at all? Was it? No, no it was not dry. Really. It was, really it was good. really yeah. dry. Whipped out the dragonflies today. So, uh, how did you guys prepare for this meet? You know, was this where are you trying to peak in the season? If you want to give that away, you know? we we uh, well, we're, we're always trying to peak yeah, championship late, time, yeah. but it doesn't always happen. Yeah. You know, you're always tired by the end. I think we changed our warm up a little bit today. Got our warm up yeah, really the, good. You think nailed you think it? That, that yeah, it felt awesome in my arms, and my that's legs. Good. But yeah. All right. Uh, how do you guys feel running at Twin Bark next week going into that race? I mean, you know, it's whatever. Like. Yeah. It's, Every other year changes and like yeah. you just gotta deal with it. Have you guys been training hills? You know, to yes, get ready we've, for we've been there. Yeah, so we've been there twice. Oh, okay. We've been there twice for workouts. We did 
we did the course a couple times, so yeah, we're definitely ready. All right, awesome. And then uh, after states, do you guys have any goals for the rest of the season? Any future meets you're yep. trying to qualify for? Uh, I think I'm personally, I don't know about Eli, but I'm kind of going to be done after done. New England. So yeah. Yeah. Got, done. Yeah. Done. Gonna be Thank you, right. boys. Thank you. We're here with Ethan DeMerchant, finished eighth place. eighth place in the Class A Boys Regional Race. Talk about the race. Um, it was interesting to say the least. Uh, it was it was getting a little hot as race time kicked off, so I think the ground started to loosen up a little bit. Um, took it out really not that fast, so I was happy with that. But I mean, as the race went on, people started to speed up per usual. But uh, yeah, all right. Preparations for today. How did you prepare? You know, did you do anything different? Did you mix anything up to get ready to run at regionals? Uh, not nah, pretty much the same thing. I had a nice bowl of chili last night. Nice. My dad made it. Um, and then this morning I had two bacon egg and cheese croissants from Duncan. And, All right. Yeah. Next week you'll be running at Twinbrook, which is a you know very different course compared to Belfast, a lot hillier, which you have never run, correct? Yeah, I've never run. So ha have you seen it? Have you you know been on it? Like, how do you feel about running? on a course like that. Good, I feel good. Uh, I've seen some videos, so I know a little of the course. I think we're gonna go take a varsity trip down and do a run there. So. And you ran great at KVACs at Coney last week, which uh, I would say that's a pretty similar course. So, you know, that's, you know, that, at least that'll uh, prepare you for running Twinbrook. Do you have anything else to say? No.
Gotta keep it up. You guys are chilling, big chilling. Look back. Look at this. These gaps are insane. Although, let's go, Sophia. Chills. Let's go, Mount Blue. Let's go, Era. Let's go, Bewick. Oh, yeah. Let's go, Mount Blue. Way to go, Chills. Let's go, Jenna. You got that, Jenna. Snag jerseys. You got them. Let's go, Abby. Snag those jerseys. Let's go, Abby. You guys are a great pack. Let's go,
We are here with Peyton Bell. You just won the girls' Class A regional race. Yeah. How were the uh, How were the conditions today? It was pretty good. It was muddy on a certain like pieces of the course, but it was overall pretty. Uh, not it was not muddy honestly it was a fun course to run and the weather the weather was yeah, great I love this weather yeah so it was a very close finish you know running yeah. down how did it feel running down the home stretch neck and neck yeah so I've been running against Jenna for a while and at festival of champions I beat her so for the last 100 meters when she kicked it in I decided to kick it in because I knew I beat her at festival of champions I was like there's no way like mentally I can't push a little bit harder to beat her this time yeah uh, did you mix anything up with your warm-up you know getting ready for today's meet how did that go yeah I usually take maple syrup before I run and today I took way too much so my stomach hurt a little bit but it was fun yeah. and uh, so next week we have we have Twinbrook how do you feel running at a more hilly course you know Twinbrook's I, very different yeah I personally do a lot better on hilly courses so I'm really excited for this right. I ran it freshman year only so yeah and so you're a junior then? I'm a senior. You're a senior, we did okay. My freshman year. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. All right, and then after states, looking forward to future races, do you have any goals like Nike National, Nike uh, Regionals, anything like that? Not really. I don't no. really, I don't know. I've been running for fun since seventh grade. Oh. My goal this year was to make it to New England, and All I right. am hoping to do that. And after that, I just want to run for All fun. All right, well, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> We're here with Sadie Hara and Katie McCarthy, the third and fourth place finishers in the Girls Class A Regionals race. Talk about the race. How did it go? It was good. It was a little bit slower out there, but um, like we just worked together and did our best. Yeah, I mean, there wasn't as many people as festivals, so that made it kind of tough. But um, we were together the whole time. Yeah, so. and so did that <laughs> help? Do you guys think help that helped during the race, or do you think? Hundred yes, percent. That's what we've been doing since like states last year. Yes, but stick together. Wherever she goes, I go. Wherever I go, she goes. All right, and so next week you guys have Twinbrook. Yes. You know, a much hillier course than this. So how do you guys think I'm your so training excited. has prepared you to run I'm a very excited. Run? We do, we like we're hills. really good on hills. Our school is on a hill, so every run has a lot of hills. So I'm excited. We do well at Coney, and I think we'll do well at Twinbrook. All right, and then after Twinbrook, are you guys looking forward to any other races, any other goals that you have? Um, our goal is New England. Hopefully uh, qualify as a team. Yeah, kind of relying on Twinbrook for that one, but yeah. I'm confident. All right. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for the interview. Let's go, Sam York! Yes, sir! Yes, yes, Sam! Let's go for one game! That's going in the pro row. <laughs> Sam, let's go, Ethan. Let's go, Griffin. Come on, 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 So used to speculating.
to the top of the mill. All right, they have a lot longer to go than we do, so we can just catch everyone. Keep it up, you got it! Nice job. Good fun. Go get them, go get them. Here we go, Noah. Hey, here we go, Noah. Let's go, Sam York! Let's go, boys! Let's go, yeah! You guys are fast! I didn't get it. Can I do it? Check it out. Oh, so good! Yeah, you're on me. Oh, so good! Sam looks loaded in there. Go, Griffin! Go, Griffin! Go, go! Go, go! Go, go! Let's go, 
Patrick! race how did the race go uh, it went really well uh, I was going for the W and I got so uh, it went well how were the conditions uh, they're pretty good I, I mean this year has been really great here it was a little muddy in some spots but for the most part it was, it was really good nice. how did you how did you prepare for today do anything differently kept it the same uh, pretty much the same I, I've, you know I, I just have a you know a, a routine I go through and, and it's pretty much the same for every meet so, nice. yeah. so most of the race, the three were up top, really close. Yeah, how did it feel okay. coming down the home straight, you know, with a bit of a lead? How did that feel? Well, hills are definitely what I do best. So, it's, I mean, it's an MDI thing. You know, we do a lot of mountain runs and all, so yeah. last that hill sense, really yeah. where I, I try to break from, yeah. from the rest of it. So, so, speaking of hills, next week, very hilly course at Winbrook. How do you feel going into that? Do you feel like you're ready for that? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I've done it once my freshman year. I did it. Yeah. I remember it being hard. It was also really muddy that, yeah. that day. But uh, no, I feel I feel pretty good about right. it. And then final question: After Twinbrook, looking for, looking uh, to any races in the future, trying to go to New England. New England, yeah. New England's, what, anything else? Uh, I was, at the beginning of the season, I was like, you know, maybe I'll sign up for Foot Lockers, but I don't think I'm, I'm going to. All right. uh, uh, but yeah, I'm looking awesome. really forward to New England. Well, great race. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for the interview. All right, so we're here with Ethan Roach, runner-up of the Class B Boys race. How did it go? It was awesome. Crazy race. Sam and Ephraim were right there the whole time. It was insane. Yeah. Uh, did you have a goal time-wise for the uh, I was hoping just a PR, like 10-15 yeah. seconds under why I went at festivals, and that's what I did, so nice. super happy with that. Awesome. So, how? I mean, obviously you guys have been training. Have you done anything specific this season to try and get ready for this race and especially states next uh, week? A little bit more sprinting stuff instead of just a lot of distance runs. We've been doing like two, sometimes three workouts a week. Nice. All right, and then next week, you know, you guys have Twinbrook, very hilly course. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel? Do you feel like you've adequately trained to run oh, yeah. at a course like that? We're super excited for it. We nice. can't wait. All right, awesome. Well, thank you. I appreciate the interview. Congrats. Thank you. We're here with Patrick Salty Sack. How was the race? It was pretty bad, I'm going to be honest, but that's all right. Nice. Yeah, well, you'll get a um, chance to you know run next week yeah. at Twinbrook, so maybe. I'm a, uh, my heel's kind of hurting, but All we'll right. see. We'll see. All right. Well, great race. It's good Thank to see you out there.
honestly just in cocaine. That's what, that's what doctors would prescribe in like 1700 if you had back pain. You should be one of those athletes that looks like You guys just finished the races. Talk about the race. How did it go? How was the conditions? I mean, you, start, you know, it wasn't really our day. I feel like we went into it losing. We were missing some people, and everybody wasn't like feeling great. But we still killed it. We, we put it. We put in our best effort, and we'll be back next weekend to get the dub. <laughs> Me? Okay, um, I just wanted to win it for the boys. I think we did win. Um, they didn't have a great day, so... Let's go. Uh, they didn't have a great day, so I wanted to get the W for them. And I think we did. 
Um, yeah, so I started out way too fast. Uh, my first mile was about a 510. Um, the second mile was fast too, and then the third mile I thought I was running in slow motion. But nice. overall, I thought I had a W race. I think it got like 11th or 12th. Nice. So, All right, yeah. and then did you guys do anything to warm up, do anything differently to get ready for the race? Um, no, actually, I, I didn't do anything. And maybe that's the reason why I didn't do good, but I didn't even stretch, which I usually do, so. Yeah. Um, our team is all about, like, rituals. We do everything same every single time. We eat at the same time. We get here at the exact same time. So I don't think anything changed, because Desiree has it down to the science. Which is okay, cool. we're approaching. I always go to bed extra late. Um, for some reason, I run better when I'm on minimal uh, hours of sleep. So I got home at about... 11:45 last night. Was walked out of my house. Had to find a key. Eventually got in. I'm on like four hours of sleep right now, and I PR. So. All right. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you guys. All right. So we are. This is the Class C boys. We have two more races. Uh, a little update on our physical conditions. Uh, the last update was me talking about how tired I am. Legs are getting better. Roland stretching. Roland, you want to pop in and? Give an update. How? how What's up, guys? I'm stretching. Uh, um, I'm pretty tired. I'm not gonna I'm lie. I'm doing pretty well. My shins really hurt. It's um, a lot. My back hasn't hurt that bad though. Like it's a little yeah. sore, but it's not like terrible. So. Also, the team left, so I have to carry my backpack. It's annoying. And I'm not really wearing running shoes. Well, I kind of am. They're like trail running shoes. So they're kind of heavy and they're waterproof. So it's getting pretty hot in there. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, we're doing good. We got two more races. Then we're dropping by Belfast for pizza. Possibly pie. We should vlog that so my the vlog is a little bit different than the uh, the mile split videos. Um, shout out mile split for hiring me. Got a media pass, which I already said. I'm just really happy about it. Thumbnail. Wait, get in for a thumbnail.
Winner of the Class C boys race. Talk about the race, how did it go? Um, uh, last week at the PVC meet, I had won last year and then the year before that. So I was like, oh, it's kind of my race to win. And then my rival, he's like my best friend. We've been yeah. rivals ever since middle school. He got me last week, he beat oh. me. And I was like, no, I can't let that happen again. So going into today, I was just kind of like, we'll see, I want to yeah. get revenge, see what nice. happens. Nice, how were the conditions on the course? Were they uh, wet it at was, all? It was great. There was yeah. like a tiny bit of mud in a few places. Nice. But other than that, it was just hard, flat, just yeah. nice, hard ground. So right. perfect for flying out there. So um, preparations for today. What did you and your team do you know, to get ready for the um, race? We just axed the mileage completely, doing like three, two every day. Nice. Barely any like workout or strides even at all. Just yeah. super easy running, just staying chill, relaxed all week. Nice. Just trying to get the right mindset. Just we're gonna do this because as a team we wanted to go to states and yeah. stuff. So how do you feel? You know, running with the team today. How do you feel the other boys did? Oh, we all did sports? amazing. I'm so I'm so happy for everyone. So proud to be a part of this hardworking team. I, I love it all. all right. I'm glad to hear it. Well, thank you. I appreciate thank it. Thank you so much. Good luck thank next you. week at Twin Brook.
Let's go, Theo. There you go, Dan. You got her, Dan. Yeah. Let's go, Theo. Nice. Let's go, Arno. Let's go, Arno. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. 
got runners coming through. Let's go, Rude! And honestly, Rhode Island's probably closer. Let's go, Rude! We got it, Rude! We're so fast! We're here with Ruth White, winner of the Class C girls race. How did your race go today? Uh, it was a good race. The whole team had a good day. Um, we had all seven girls come in pretty close together. So that was awesome. And the course is in really good condition. Belfast did a good job even after the rain. It was well maintained and dried out. So that was nice. Nice. So next week you have Twinbrook, which is a much hillier course. How do you think you've prepared like over the season for this race? Um, I think just doing hill work. I mean, that's the only way to get better at hills, working on the uphills, working on the downhills. Yeah. All right. And then after um, Twinbrook, do you have any like goals for future races after? Um, hoping to make it to New England. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you. I appreciate the interview. Congrats on your win today. Thank you very much. Have you been into a co-op before, Roland? I have. I really don't know what to expect. I thought the place we went into in Vermont was a co-op. <laughs> a co-op is 
a grocery store. Oh, this reminds me of Tiller and Rye. Yeah, it's like a yeah, Tiller like and Rye. Rye. Or like, kind of like Trader Joe's, maybe. That's like good stuff. Yeah. Califia Farms cold brew coffee with almond milk XX espresso. All right. Let's see if it's any good. That's really weird. Is it bad? Not what I expected. It's good. It's just, it's very nutty. <laughs> like really Picked up some box water, cause box water is better. Hello. And now I just, I like it. I tried the, um, the like mint one and it tasted like someone brushed their teeth and then spit the water into one of these and then they sold it for $2 a pop. Uh, but normal one's really good. I'll give you guys a review of me trying the, um, cold brew once we got get back into alexi's which is a pizza place where we're having lunch roll on should we get tattoos I'm all set. or does it look weird it's good it's fine all right i'm doing the review of roland's thing i don't think i'm gonna like it do you think i'll like it no oh going for two okay i had a little set it is very nutty not very sweet probably no sugar there's some but it's also str ooh, strong caffeine strength. I need that. Did you shake it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's not bad. I wouldn't get it, but I don't like coffee, so. But it wasn't terrible. Facts. I liked it more than I thought I would. All right. We'll give you a pizza review, maybe. Yeah. We're at Alexia's Pizza in Belfast. Um, What'd you get? I got a small buffalo chicken pizza with broccoli. It's delicious. Like, it's so good. It looks beautiful, and the crust is, like, crunchy on the outside, a little chewy on the inside. It's perfect. All right. I got a buffalo, no, no, barbecue chicken, pineapple, and bacon pizza, but they went absolutely ham with the pineapple. We came to this place after festivals. We're here after regionals. Unfortunately, States, I was gonna say we'll be here after States, but States is in Portland. So uh, yeah, really good place. Would recommend it if you're in the Belfast area. All right, what's up guys? So I just finished editing the regionals vlog. Um, Overall, I'm really happy with it. Thank you guys for watching and making it this far. I know it was really long. Um, and a thank you to Mile Split for letting me record and work for you guys. It was a really fun experience. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.